Shizukas, the Shizukas mixed in with some LDs like Narsha, some Nanas. That's likely going to be the field of units that we're going to deal with here. We see Thompson is at a 2089 ranking, very high, probably top 15 in the world at the moment. Uh, I think Big V is going to, this, this pre ban is going to come down to which LDs they want to disable. I think Thompson is going to want to find a way to get Oliver. So if Big V has first pick, if I were Thompson, I would be thinking about pre-banning Oliver to take that off the field here. Uh, and if I was Big V, knowing that I have first pick here, I'm thinking I may get Oliver, and I want to take out some sort of LD that will disrupt that off the bat. Ooh, Big V banning out the Gurkha. And then we've got Thompson banning out the Volantis. Oh, of course. I forgot Thompson had the Gurkha. Well, I mean, Gurkha, the highest unit on Seishizou's tier list, once it goes off, basically wins the game on the spot. So, as you can, as noted, Oliver probably the first pick here. Uh, Thompson going for a very quick Masha into a Nana here. So, I do like the Masha a lot. Uh, Nana tells me Thompson's content to go a little bit more turn two like, uh, knowing that he has a violent Gianna as well. Uh, and I'm not sure if you want to lock yourself into that speed off the bat, but it's not exactly terrible either. Yep, Oliver first pick for Big V, Masha Nana for Thompson. Big V looking to respond after seeing these two units coming out of Thompson. And I wouldn't mind seeing a violent Gianna and a Shizuka coming out from Big V here, given the fact that Volantis with the Suns is taken out here. Goes to the Molly Shizuka, and I actually don't like the Molly here. It's a little bit too passive. There's no burst coming out from Big, Big V side, and he's facing down tanky units, hard hitting units from Thompson. Yeah, definitely very passive. We're used to seeing a very aggressive Big V, as we saw last year. But it looks like he's going to turn things around by drafting that Nasha. Yeah, there goes the damage. We see the Narsha here, and I'd like to see some other form of damage here. He could also take an Abuelio to make it very weird for Thompson's draft. Takes another Water Unit instead. Goes to the Water Monkey here. So when you go for the Water Monkey like that, you, I mean, you're a little weak to the Juno here. So Juno could potentially be a ban, is what Big V's thinking, especially when you have a Shizuka and an Oliver on your field. Thompson's flashing a Diana, which I don't think would be the pick here when there's already a Molly. I would like to see, I mean, there really could be anything. He's flashing a Leo, and I'm not sure if I agree with the Leo here. Leo's okay, but Oliver's pretty good in a Leo. Goes with the Sagar instead. I was, wasn't expecting such a free-to-play draft coming out of Thompson here. Locks in that win Bison. Yeah, I don't see a single LD unit on the right-hand side, and on the left-hand side, I only see one LD unit here. So, you know, my hopes and dreams, you know, in seeing an LD abusing matchup is kind of it's kind of changed here. We see a normal, very ordinary draft. You would not think that you have LD abusers in this game here. Uh, if I was Thompson, I'd be thinking about taking some volatility out. If I'm Big V, I'm probably taking out the Nana, or uh, I guess the Sagar is also fine because the Sagar does a lot of disruption to his team. Takes out the Water Monkey, which is a little bit weird. Uh, may not want to face the volatility of that Water Monkey into his two fire units, but he does have a lot of protection here. Water Monkey tends to be very squishy as well. An extremely interesting draft here. Speed lead for Big V. Big V looking to take that turn one away from Thompson, and here we go. Big V versus Thompson, round one. Yeah, and so Big V is basically looking to proc through a lot of damage and snipe out units here. There's a lot of protection coming off from that Nana, so uh, Big V is going to need to take a couple of procs if he wants to win here. Does get that first proc on that Oliver. Yeah, there's that beautiful first proc. No attack bar pushback on top of that Juno. Dominic not in a good position right now. Yeah, and we'll see if that Juno is tuned to that Masha, because if that Juno is tuned, that Masha is going to be able to do a lot of damage. And it is tuned here, so that Masha does not use skill 2, because uh, it was reset by that Oliver, so that Masha is not going to be able to do a lot of damage. Yep, he's not able to get a defense break on top of the full immunity team by Big V, but he may go for that damage there onto the Narsha, but instead just goes for some poke damage there. We have Dominic does drop, and that last orb of Banana is going to be dropping off. Yeah, Dominic does drop there, so not exactly as tanky as I would hope to have some minus damage, but that's going to be a strip coming out from Juno, but does not get very much. Strips absolutely nothing. We've got just a strip stun sitting on top of the molly, not the kind of value Thompson was definitely going to be looking for. You can see Big V trying to pull in a little bit of damage, a little bit of attack for pushback on top of that Nana. Yeah, and he should put Soul Protect on that Oliver because that Masha is going to be able to go in on that Oliver next here. Taking his time to think about, decides to put the Soul Protect on the Narsh instead, which is a little interesting. I'm going to expect Thompson to do a lot of damage onto this Oliver and potentially get an orb onto his Nana. Yeah, we'll see if the Molly Passive comes in as a factor here, but it looks like he chose to for some poke damage on top of the Narsha instead. And of course, Dominic's going to be drop dropping there with no more orbs on top of Nana. 
Yeah, so not sure what Thompson's thinking about when he wants to conserve his skills like that and not use it. I mean, I guess he just wants to play the game in auto only or use skill ones only because I think that Oliver, would, killing the Oliver would have allowed him to get a stack and get some momentum in this game here. Uh, maybe he wants to dismount that Narsha, but I'm not sure that's the play here with this uh, Oliver here. You need to get some stacks on that Nana. Yeah, he definitely needs to. It gets a nice little dismount sitting on top of that Narsha, though. But of course, we've got Oliver. He's going to be taking his turns here, reducing the attack for our units, possibly even violent proccing, and rolling it all over again. So we're going to see a skill two coming out back onto the Nana. He's trying to get rid of this unit. Yeah, but I will say Thompson is in a pretty decent spot here, despite this Nana going down. That is a very big proc, though. Pretty big proc that's going to give a Soul Protect onto that Narsha. So that might be a game-winning proc if Thompson's not going to be if not, if Thompson's not able to deal with that Soul Protect. Yeah, not at all. He can even throw that shield on top of the Narsha, make sure that unit is staying alive here in case Juno is able to get that strip back up there. But no strip's going to be coming up from this Juno. We're going to see a Despair stun potentially going out onto the Dominic. Uh, probably going to need to get, did not get a Despair stun going, but again, Thompson's not able to get that orb onto that Nana. That Nana's not tanky enough to survive this Narsha here, so Thompson's basically down two units to four and does not have a way to survive longer, does not have a Narsha. So Thompson's going to need to ride this Narsha to victory. Nice little double despair stun though on top of the Molly and the Dom uh, the um, Oliver though. Narsha looking for something before she goes out. Wow, and that's so much damage going on to this Juno here. I think Tom's is gonna lose yet another unit. Uh, but somehow Big V chooses to throw up his uh, throw up his third skill for allowing Juno to basically survive. Yep, there it is. I mean, we're going to see some more poke damage coming towards not that Narsha, because that Narsha has that soul protection up here. Got to be careful with that second skill resets. He's not going to have the strip up. Yeah, that Juno is actually not as tanky as I expected. I would have thought from Thompson we'd see really tanky units, but we don't see that. We also know that Juno's skills are on cooldown. Not going to be able to strip here. Thompson does have the best runes in the world, but that Masha is not going to be able to take out four units here. So I think we're going to see Big V take this first one. Yeah, most definitely. There's that third skill, killing off that Juno there, and here it is. Big V is going to be taking his time here with Thompson, because we know Thompson to usually take his time to think about his next match. Yeah, and that's so much damage going on that Oliver. You see that Oliver pretty much lost 80% of his health in one shot here, so I can't help but think if earlier Thompson should have gone for the Oliver kill so he could get stacks on that Nana. And that kind of swung the game here, because at the end of the day, Thompson was not able to take out any units of Big V's. Correct. I mean, finally, Thompson's able to remove the Oliver from the field, but it's a little late for that. You can see the pummeling damage is going to be raining on top of this Masha. Now that she's dismounted, Narsha looking for the finish. And Big V taking down Thompson in round one. Wow, pretty good showing by Big V. I was a little bit question questioning his draft a little bit when he went with the Oliver Shizuka Molly. Typically into a player like Thompson who has really really good LDs and can show a lot of aggression can bring Narsha's in can bring a lot of damage in, can bring Neftis in so many ways to beat you, you don't want to go passive with three picks in you have to pick the ability to flex either way but it somehow worked Thompson chose not to go after the Oliver which was a very interesting choice when you have a Nana on the field yet another passive unit but when you have a Nana on the field you really need to start using it which is to kill units get those stacks going to give yourself some buffer in order to come back in a match if you need it later in the game. Yeah, even in those moments of immunity, I think you gotta use those skills. You know you can pump out a little bit more damage, and who knows, you could Violent proc after that to help capitalize off of those kind of moments, but it just didn't work out for Thompson that round. And I think we're gonna see a couple more LDs going into the second match, though. I would love to see some LDs coming out from Thompson. I mean, we know he has some of the best LDs in the world. He's got the Neftis, he's got the Geon, he's got the Gurkha, he's got the Narsha, he's got so many LDs here that he could use. I'm not sure if, you know, picking things like Sagar, even though it got banned, uh, or, you know, going with uh, Nana's would be the right play so early. So we'll see where, where they decide to flex here. Uh, if I was Big V, I would be taking out another LD unit. Uh, probably taking out, you could take out the Narsha, you could take out Oliver knowing that Thompson has first pick here. Um, it really depends on how he perceives this matchup to go. Alrighty, pre-bans should be coming out very shortly. Gurkha and Volantis now available. Gurkha and Volantis available. So Big V is probably going to construct his draft around making sure that he can counter the Gurkha if it comes out. So you may see a lot more Junos. You're going to see probably some form of immunity. Things like Shizuka become a bit more effective. Things like Masha become necessities if you're going to have to fight a Gurkha. Neftis and Cadiz getting the pre-ban in this match. Thompson with the first pick, taking that Oliver. 
Yeah, and Oliver is the preferred unit of both players here. They want to fight for that aggression, fight for that turn one. Wouldn't be surprised to see a Sekhmet and some sort of a Sekhmet and Shizuka uh, coming out from Big V would be good counter picks coming into Thompson here. Gianna's a good pick as well. You have the combination of dropping bombs in the Shizuka and also have Gianna that's going to threaten speed. I think both players run a violent Gianna, which has no draft presence, but uh, it's going to allow Big V to uh, basically drop more bombs throughout the game. Juno and the Masha getting drafted by Thompson. We know that Masha can pro put out a lot of damage. We'll find out is going to be enough here going up against Big V. Big V looking to respond. I think Big V has to take the Narsha here to show some aggression. That Thompson also doesn't really have a lot of, uh, doesn't have a super fast strip at the moment. Juno's fast, but not super fast. Big V going with the Ragdoll. I really like the Ragdoll pick. Ragdoll very good into Juno because Juno crits every time. And Thompson's likely to put some sort of, a lot of crit onto all of his units. So Ragdoll might be a force ban from Thompson here. And if, if that's the case, Thompson's going to need to think deeper into turn two to survive. But that Miles is a lot of damage. So he does think deeper into turn two, and we see a Gurkha. Yeah, Gurkha Molly wrapping up Thompson's draft, which is super interesting. The Gurkha has that ability to just solo everything Big V has. Yeah, so if I, I think the two bans off the bat would be a Ragdoll and a Gurkha here. Big V's going to draft accordingly to ban out that Gurkha because Gurkha is so dangerous. If Gurkha goes off, the game is over. It is literally over. There's nothing that Big V can do about it. So Gurkha probably needs to be the ban here, and Ragdoll is just so disruptive to his team. So I could see a Gurkha ban. If he takes the Narsha, though, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Molly ban or a Juno ban to prevent some sort of turn one disruption. But obviously Gurkha is still the most dangerous unit on the field, and I think... Uh, Ragdoll is still very scary if I'm Thompson. Well, let's see. These bands are coming out here as this timer is ticking down. Bands definitely getting locked in. Both players take their time with a lot of things that they do. They're very, very smart players here in the tournament. So the Gurkha ban is definitely expected here, but I did not expect to see that Shizuka ban. So we see... $50,000 draft on the left and a $0 draft on the right here. We have so many LDs coming out from Big V and no LDs on the draft side of Thompson after that ban has been made here. There's going to be a lot of aggression coming out from Big V, but at the same time, Thompson's going to be able to move first with that Juno into into a damage from Masha into resets from Oliver. So Thompson has a turn one edge, but Big V has the LDs. Well, here comes Miles, ready to kick things off. There's no will on the side of Thompson. And we've got an Oliver. Maybe in focus here. Yeah, Thompson does not really need the will runes here. But again, that strip may tri trip off Big V's units. And that's actually what we see here. We're going to see the bomb drop off. We're going to see Narsha potentially snipe off a unit. And then if it lands a defense break, that Ragdoll is going to do a lot of damage. So I think this Ju Juno is going to be the first target. Uh, or Oliver. And there's just going to be so much damage coming from Big V's side of the field. Here's that stun sitting on top of that Oliver. And Oliver is going to be the unit of focus right now. Does get defense broken, taking a ton of damage coming from that Narsha. No defense break landing on top of the Gianna. Shields coming up up on top of the up on top of the Oliver. A little bit of damage going towards that uh, Narsha. And we've got third skill happening right here, trying to push back the attack bar of the Ragdoll into a second skill, of course. Yeah, and this is where we're going to see Oliver dominate here. But at the same time, Big V's Narsha is looking very scary. That ability to give defense breaks over and over is going to be valuable when you have a Ragdoll coming up. And there's also a lot of damage coming from this Miles. So Big V with big aggression coming in. Thompson's going to need to hang on. Need to have this Molly proc a couple of times. Ooh, there's that defense break landing on top of the Oliver as well. Any despair stuns coming through with the Juno. No despair stuns coming through here. Gianna's going to cycle a little bit of attack bar trying to remove the Oliver from the field. Of course, no stuns going to be landing here. Additional turns popping up. Gianna getting removed. Gianna getting removed, and we see Narsha's moving next, and it's going to do a ton of damage. It's a pretty tanky Narsha as well. Thompson's going to need to dismount this Narsha. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. He's already has his Masha dismounted here. So Thompson looking like he's in a lot of trouble. Definitely looking like a lot of trouble indeed. He has to dismount the Narsha, and he's able to do it there with the Masha. No additional turns coming through. Ragdoll looking to torn out. That Masha does miss crit, though. Narsha's going to be there with the additional turn on top. Thompson in so much trouble. But it's not over yet. You have a Molly that just needs a proc here. This Narsha is going to go down here, and this Juno does do a lot of damage. Thompson has some of the best wounds in the game here. So Thompson might be able to come back, but it's going to need a little bit of luck. Well, there's that Despair Stun going out onto the Narsha. He's not able to drop it there. Molly be able, should be able to finish off the Narsha here because he doesn't have any other opportunities to do anything here. Going to see a first skill. No Despair Stuns going out onto the Miles. Miles is going to be providing a lot of damage for Big V. 
Wow, and that's a massive proc from that Miles onto that Juno. Every proc from Big B is very big here because it makes him do a lot of damage. Each of these units do so much, and there's nothing Thompson can do to keep this there Juno up. There's nothing, nothing he can do there, Big V!